Hi and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and the Revell FW190F8 132nd scale project. <clears throat> Alright, top of the wings are on, all the flaps, all of the ailerons, rudder, stabilizer and elevators are ready to go. But before I do that, I have a little bit more cleanup to do right along this fillet here. And then um, I also have to rescribe this this panel line here from sanding all this down. So um, what I've done is I've got a piece of brass uh, from a photo etch fret and uh, uh, taped it across where my um, panel line is supposed to be because there was you know portions of it left down on the side, so I can use that to line it up. And I got that in place. I have my <clears throat> photo etch or my um, panel line scriber here. I just got in the mail a few days ago, so I'm going to be scratching that into place, scribing that into place. Then I'm do a little bit of touch up on here um, with the uh, RLM2 and uh, get the stabilizers, elevators, rudder, and put the flaps in place and. Uh, ailerons you know after I do that little bit of uh, sanding I mentioned here um, and then once I get all that done then it'll be on to the uh, motor so I'm gonna work on this and uh, come back all right um, Here's where I am thus far. I've got the uh, engine is all together except for the exhaust and I've painted that a rust color as a base um, so I'm letting that dry. Uh, painted the engine. Um, I didn't get too crazy on the detail and stuff because I'm doing the thing completely closed up. I am painting it. I'm gonna you know put some oil stains and fluid leakage and stuff like that. But as far as the back goes I'm not going to be detail painting any of that because you know it's all going to be closed up the only part you're going to see is going to be you know that much of the engine so uh, just to save some time i am not going to uh, detail out the whole engine um, i will make sure that the, this part up here i did uh, hairspray method chipping on this part here um, i'm going to uh, like I said, put oil and fluid stains all over, and then um, then I'll be able to uh, glue the exhaust on, get that you know dusted up and weathered up, looking where it looks like you know exhaust, not just red painted stuff. And I'll be ready to install that into the um, front of the aircraft. I've already test fitted; fits really nice. Now the instructions call out to do to to go ahead and glue these in place but I am not going to do that I'm going to do the engine first that way I can install these and make sure that these contact points fit exactly where they're supposed to on the engine because it seems like the one common complaint is getting all the panels on really nice and flush um, so I don't want to have that problem so I am going to uh, do it this way and uh, make sure everything gets on there real nice and snug. Another part that's coming up is the uh, windscreen and um, I've already test fitted it. It fits really nice. Um, so what I need to do first is I need to mask it in this uh, seat belt and masking set that, kit that I bought um, to go with this kit. It's really nice because it gives you inside and outside masks and uh, not everybody does that so I'm gonna put those on here get that ready to go and then I can uh, spray the inside part and um, then I can install it on the uh, aircraft put the outside masks on and then you know it'll be ready to uh, to spray the exterior paint so that's where I am. While all this stuff's drying, I'll uh, kind of look at the instructions and see what we got coming up. All right. Let's see what we've got here. 
Uh, so as I said, I was going to mount the, uh, I got the engine mounted in and then needed to do all the cowling and some of the stuff I've read about the cowling has just been, you know, not that great. You know, people saying, oh, it's just hard to fit and everything else and I can really see how that would be a problem. Um, so what I did, the instructions say to mount this part and this part first then put the engine in then start putting some of this other stuff around well I didn't do that I put the engine in first because that was going to serve as the basis of lining everything up um, the uh, all those parts going around and they have like a, there's a there's an indentation there's a slot let's call it a slot uh, along the inside of all of these parts that fits on a lip on the ring that goes around the outside of the engine so what I did was um, put the engine in let that set up really well then I got I started uh, putting the parts in so I put this part in first and what I did is I test fit it made sure that it fit like it was supposed to. Now this one's sticking out a little bit and I'm going to sand it down to where it's a little more flush with this like I did on this side here. As you can see that one fits a little bit better. So I glued those on to the engine and onto the uh, front of the wing here, this uh, fillet. After I did that then I glued the bottom parts on and again I did the same thing I sanded this down to where it was a little closer to being flush with this part on both sides okay because there is supposed to be a uh, seam there I'm going to double check my references but it does show a seam there not very pronounced but there is a seam so I made sure those were in place and that they lined up with these hinges here so you could see the hinge detail. Then once I did that, I started on these. I did um, I test fit them and made sure this fit like it was supposed to. And then I did this side first, then this side and make sure made sure I used a clamp in kind of a crossways fashion here to apply pressure so it would sit flush like it was supposed to. Then this top part, this top panel here, dropped right into place, perfectly lined up. There's a, you know, those are latches there and it's supposed to open up so it's not supposed to be solid. It's supposed to have these lines but they fit really snug. And then um, the last part was installing this part here. Now what I did is I checked uh, some references and this front ring right here from the photo references I saw, it did not fit super smooth and flush with this part here. So all I did is sanded this edge very lightly to kind of chamfer it so it wasn't such a sharp angle. Because in looking at the photographs, it looks like it was maybe you know aluminum that was rolled around a framework. I don't know, but that's the way it looked to me. So I wanted to get that sharp edge off. Then I just centered on that part as best I could then um, I glued this to the front and there is supposed to be a seam there and a seam here um, so it all went together quite nicely I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out the hinges are sticking out like they're supposed to so you know there'll be some good detail there um, and you know in looking at photographs on these things I, maybe it's just restored aircraft, but even on some of the older aircraft that I've seen pictures of, the, these, this stuff does not fit super smooth like modern stuff. You know, being a cottage industry, I guess, um, it just kind of, uh, you know, it fit together well enough to, to get the job done and to make the, uh, make the FW-190 airworthy. So, got a little nub right there I got to shave off there so that's done so
later on this part here will fit in and it fits like a champ I am really stoked with the way that fits and again man look at the photographs of these things these this part right here some of them look just really beat up and just kind of splayed out they must have been just really thin aluminum for this gun cover here because man some of them are just all kind of tweet so but you know irregardless which I know is not a word that fits really nice right there just like it's supposed to alright so what I've done is I put the mask on this part here and I sprayed the inside uh, of the framework RLM 66 which is uh, the you know same color as the rest of the interior once this dries good then I have to install that then I can actually glue that into place so um, while this uh, while this is drying and um, I'm waiting to put those other parts on I'm going to go ahead and work on the wheels and tires the, the uh, hubs and tires and get those ready the landing gear is already done I just need to do the detail painting on that um, so I need to do that so I'll get that all put together I need to uh, use RLM2 on these parts here um, for the inside of the uh, landing gear base but I'm not actually going to um, install those that'll be one of the last things I do maybe even probably before I start decals but anyway I don't want to install those uh, till I'm further along so I'll do that and then I can move on to doing some more of the detail work uh, I have to install the guns then the cover and uh, that'll be good to go so that is where I am and I will come back in a bit okay so I have got the whole front end put together I've got all of the uh, I've got the bomb center bomb rack and the two drop tank racks installed and uh, the front windshield and the masks worked wonderfully I masked and painted the inside so that's ready to go and then I will use the um, canopy I'm not using to uh, I'll glue that on there for whenever I um, actually paint. So uh, the next step is to start painting this thing. So I'm going to put it aside for now and um, do some practice painting since I'm using uh, bare metal finish for the first time. So I'm going to do a little practicing. I'll probably talk about that at some point. So uh, with that, I'm going to call this video on the FW190 F8 by Ravel um, quits for right now. So stay tuned, and I will come back with more up updates real soon. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, whatever, place them in the comments section below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will see you all next time.